Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Breakpoint Pokemon Booster Box. This Booster Box opening is part of my 18 Pokemon Booster Box opening series I'm currently doing for the summer of 2016. This is the 16th box of the 18 that I'll be opening up this summer, and this is the second of the two Breakpoint boxes that have opened up in this series. This Breakpoint Booster Box I bought from Poke Order for $89.89. If you'd like to see any of the other boxes I've opened up this summer, you'll find a link to the 18 Booster Box opening playlist I've created in the description of this video. So I'll show a quick 360 view of the artwork on the box and then start opening up the packs. So there's a good look at it with a plastic wrap on. Luxray break on the top and there is the bottom. I was able to get all these newer boxes from Poke Order for $89.89. That was the cheapest place that I found, but most places like that are very similar price-wise because once you add up tax and shipping, each place differs a little bit, and they're normally around $100 total per box. So there is the box without the plastic wrap on it. Of course, 36 packs per box. The code card in each pack, 10 cards per pack. And I can compare this box to the first box that I opened up in this series as we go on. And I'll start with the right stack first. And it looks like a Mega Scizor right on the cover artwork of the first pack. And the first box that I opened up of Breakpoint in this series, I had below average pulls. Only pulled a total of 11 Hollows and Ultra Rares, so I'm hoping to do a little bit better in this box. So first card in the first pack is a Staryu, there's an Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, Froakie, Corsola, there's a Scizor Spirit Link, Great Ball Trainer, Lapras, Reverse Hollow of, a Shinx, and that is just a common card, and the first rare here is a Clefable Non-Hollow. Of course I have two boxes left to open up. In this series, I have a Breakthrough Booster Box and an Ancient Origins Booster Box. And each of those sets have also opened up already in this series. I bought the four newest sets at the time when I purchased all of these boxes earlier in the spring of this year. And I bought two of each of those boxes. So second pack here starts with a Shelter. There's a Drowsy. Spritzy. Timpole. Clefairy, Aromatissi, a couple of fairy type cards in a row there, Arcanine, there is a Misty's Determination, Meowstic, which is a rare reverse holo, excellent pull right there, and then the final card in the pack is a Drapion. And of course at the end of both part one and part two, I will be summarizing my pulls, so that way you can skip towards the end if you're short on time. In the first box of this series, for Breakpoint, I only pulled out two break cards, so it was really a below average box overall. Hoping to pull at least three break cards in this box, and potentially, I would say at least five ultra rares. Okay, so this pack here starts with a Honage, Ducklet, Shinx, Numel, there's a Blitzel, Psychic's Third Eye, Sigilyph, De Blade, Reverse Hollow of a Luxray. That's another rare Reverse Hollow, second of this box. And the rare in the pack is a Full Art. It is an Espeon EX Full Art. One of my favorite cards from this set in EX Full Art form. That is a great pull and an excellent start to this box. Several more packs to go, so some more potential for getting several more ultra rare cards. Okay, next pack here, Greninja Break on the cover artwork. That was really the card I was hoping for most would be the Espeon EX Full Art. Ho-Oh EX Full Art would be nice as well. And then of course the secret rare card in this set which is Gyarados EX Full Art. Some gold to it. So this pack starts off with a Phantom, followed by Glamio. I believe it's On Edge. Someone said that's how you pronounce that Pokemon's name. There's Ducklet, Trubbish, Fighting Fury Belt, Max Potion, Sigilyph. 
There's a Clefairy, that is, and it's just a common reverse hollow. And the rare in this pack, the first hollow pull of this box, and a Meganium hollow. So not a bad pull right there. Okay, on to another Mega Scizor pack. Of course, you can get Mega Scizor and then Mega Gyarados out of this box. So here's the code card. It is possible to get two Ultra Rares in one pack. So this pack here starts with a Gibble. There's a Chikorita. Timpole. Spritzy. Skrelp. Splash Energy. There's a Potion. Reverse Hollow after this Palpitoad is a Potion, Uncommon Trainer card, and the rare in this pack, a Gyarados EX. And of course, this is a shiny version of Gyarados, that's why it is red. But two Ultra Rare pulls early on in this box. And another EX card that I was hoping to pull. Very good pull so far. It's always nice to pull the Ultra Rares you're really hoping for when opening a box. Usually the Pull rates are pretty much guaranteed. You're expected to get, you know, four or five ultra rares per box. And it's just a matter of which ones you're going to pull out. In this case, I like the two that I've pulled out quite well so far. So here we go with a Psyduck. There's an Esper. Growlithe. Shelter. Gibble. Pokemon Catcher. There is a Splash Energy. Pulled a couple of Splash Energy so far. Mawile, Reverse Hollow of a Slowbro, that is an uncommon, and the rare in the pack, a Shiftry non hollow Cool looking artwork on that Shiftry, a little bit darker artwork to it, reminds me of like an EX Team Rocket Returns set artwork, or a Neo Destiny, some of the dark Pokemon in that set. So, next pack here, code card, I give away codes on my blog every single day as well. So this pack starts with a Slowpoke, there's Clefairy, Psyduck, Phantom, Glammeow, Luxio, haven't pulled a break card yet, Arcanine, Misty's Determination, Reverse Hollow of this Drowsy, just a common one, and the rare in the pack. A Garbodor Hall, and this card is very good. I reviewed this card on my blog a while back, but a very good card, especially this ability. It, it essentially disables all abilities in play, so if your opponent's deck is based on abilities and having Pokemon on the bench that use their abilities to affect the gameplay, that Garbodor card really shuts down their strategy and really basically wins the game for you just with that ability. So this pack starts with a Scorpy. There's a Rattata, Slowpoke, Furfru, Seedot, Great Ball, Delinquent, Nuzleaf, Reverse Hollow, oh there we go, first break pulls Luxray break, probably the break card that I like most from this set in the Luxray. And then the final card in the pack is a Luxray Rare and on Hollow. So you go from break to the regular version. And of course with break cards you just put it horizontally on that card. So you'd have to first get Luxray in the active Pokemon spot. And then you'd be able to put Luxray on top of it. Okay, so next pack here. Haven't pulled a Mega EF EX out yet. I actually did not pull a Mega EX out of the first Breakpoint box in this opening series. I'd probably prefer to pull like a Ho-Oh EX Full Art over a Mega in this case. Here we go with a Froki. There's a Rattata. Cricketot. Shelder. Drowsy. There's a Gyarados Spirit Link. Professor Sycamore. Bursting Balloon, Reverse Hollow is Dot, another common Reverse Hollow, and the rare in the pack is a Pharaoh Thorn, rare non-hollow. But very happy with my pull so far, and we're, we're right about at the halfway point of part one here, the first 18 packs in this box. 
So code card again. Of course, those the first card in the pack. Moving on to a Drowsy, Petalil, Cricketot. There is a Pancham, Electivire, Bayleaf. I like that Bayleaf card quite a bit. Perugly, Reverse Hollow of, Furfru, just a common. And the rare in the pack is a Golduck. I know a lot of people like the fact that Golduck Break is actually gold sort of like a gold duck and a lot of people mentioned that when I first pulled gold duck break they said finally it is gold in color like that I hadn't actually ever considered that but definitely do now whenever I see that card so next pack here starts off with a Corsola there's a Furfru Pharaoh Seed Trubbish Electabuzz Nuzleaf Puzzle of Time Trainer, Aromatissi, Reverse Hollows a Tierno, Uncommon Trainer card, when they include in theme decks quite often. And then the rare in the pack is, wow, is a Mega Scizor EX Full Art. That is a great pull right there. Not only is it a Mega, which I have not pulled yet, but it is an EX Full Art card as well. What a great pull, and so far a much better box than the first Breakpoint box that I opened up in this series. This is actually the third Breakpoint box I've opened up on YouTube. I always open up the, the newest set when it comes out, so I opened up a Breakpoint booster box as soon as the set was released, and then I opened up two this summer. have completed the set as well and made a video of my collection. So first card in this pack is a Blitzel. There's a Staryu. Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, Froki, Luxio, Dunsparce, Psychic's Third Eye, Reverse Hollow of Pseudo Widow, and that is an uncommon, and the rare in the pack, a Camerupt Non Hollow. Okay, moving on to the next pack, Mega Scizor on it. There are five packs left after this one. So far, a very good box, and I would say we'd probably get one more either hollow or ultra rare out of the remaining packs here to make an expected pulls for the first half of the box. So first card here is a Scorpy. There's a Staryu, Gibble, Seedot, Chikorita with the Reflection of Fennekin on it, Bayleaf, Pseudo Widow, just pulled that in reverse hollow form, Mawile, there is a Tim Pole, Common Reverse Hollow, and the rare in the pack, a Meowstic Non Hollow. I'd mentioned that in a couple of other XY series openings. I believe it's Breakpoint, Breakthrough, even, and then Fates Collide. For sure, the two newest sets, they made it so it's a much harder to weigh packs. So they have two different versions of code cards. The fronts are a little bit different. And that really gives it away if you're going to get a hollow or anything on the inside, which is a bit disappointing. And that's why I don't really look at the front side of the code card. That way it, it lets me know right away if I'm going to get something good in the pack outside of break cards. So first card in this pack is a Skrelp. There's a Onage. Ducklet. Shinx. Numa. Pseudo Widow. Potion, Palpitoad, next up is Trevenant, and that's a rare reverse hollow, hadn't pulled one of those for quite some time, and then the actual rare in the pack is a Hypno, but two rares is always nice in one pack. Okay, fourth to last pack in part one here, then I'll be on to part two. Like I said, the cards I'm hoping for most would be the Ho-Oh EX Full Art, and then the Secret Rare Gyarados EX Full Art. So right on top here is a Numa, pretty high HP to it, 80 HP. There's an Esper, Growlithe, Pancham, Petalil, Durant, Electivire. There's a Max Potion, Reverse Hollow of Zubstrika, two in a row for rare Reverse Hollows. And then the actual rare in the pack is a Lilligant Non-Hollow. Getting down there on packs. 
hoping to pull one more break card as well. But I only did pull two break cards in the first break point box that I opened up this summer. Like I said, it was a disappointing box overall. I bought a lot of boxes from Pull Quarter this summer, and I've had decent luck from them overall. So, first card in this pack is a Glamio. There's a Yibble, Chikorita, Timpole, Spritzy, Cloyster, Swana, Heatmore, cool looking card, only an uncommon. Oh, there's a nice rare, not a rare reverse holo, but a special energy reverse holo, splash energy. And then the actual rare in the pack is a Trevenant. Just pulled that card in reverse holo form a few packs ago. Okay, second to last pack now has a Mega Scizor on it. I'd like to get one more ultra rare out of here. I should get another hollow for sure because I've only pulled out five combined hollows and ultra rares so far. So first card here is a Glamio. There's a Ducklet. Timpole. Shelder. On Edge. Great Ball. Heatmore. There's a Pokemon Catcher. Haven't pulled too many of those yet. Blitzel, just a common reverse holo, and the rare in the pack, a Seismitoad non-holo. Now how about this last pack having two ultra rares in it with a break and an ultra rare like an EX or an EX full art. It can happen in break points, happened to me a couple of times. So final pack in part one, code card there, hopefully you get some good pulls, whoever is using that code card. And final pack starts off with a Drowsy, Slowpoke, it seems like a lot of these packs have two first generation Pokemon to start, make it three with Clefairy, four with Psyduck, and then there's a Phantom, Puzzle of Time, Stantler, there's a Cricketune, Reverse Hollow of a Star Use, only one break pull in the first half here, this is a common Reverse Hollow, and then the final rare in part one here, cannot beat that, an ultra rare pull of an Espeon EX. So now I have Espeon EX and Espeon EX Full Art out of this box. So I'll summarize my pulls here. An average box overall pull wise goes, so right as expected, but I was very happy with the ultra rares that I pulled. So I can summarize here, I have four rare reverse solos in part one. There's Abstrika, Trevenant, Luxray, and Meowstic, I probably like that Luxray best. So there's four rare reverse hollows, just two hollow cards, which I have no complaints at all about only getting two hollow cards. So there was Garbodor and Meganium, Garbodor being the better one. One break card, and then four ultra rares. So there's Luxray break, probably the break card I wanted most. So I pulled out one EX in Gyarados EX, shiny Gyarados. And then pulled, well, I pulled out two EX cards, my mistake, in Gyarados EX and then Espeon EX. And then pulled out two full art cards, one EX, one Mega EX. So Espeon EX full art, favorite pull of this half of the box. And then a Mega EX full art in this Mega Scizor EX. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages as well as links to part two of this booster box opening and a link to the playlist I've created for this 18 Pokemon booster box opening series. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.